the next presentation will be with Jean-Marc, which will, which will talk about more than one tool for collaborating on writing the Tiki CMS. So, and this should be. So, hello everybody. <coughs> so, this is not about one specific product, contrary to the others. Uh, it's about uh, sharing our experience uh, from the Tiki, the Tiki Wiki CMS group where software community um, about, uh, well, producing collaborative tools and also collaborating and what we use uh, among ourselves. The reason I'm here is because, uh, well, I've been really interested in uh, open source and internet since uh, a very long time. I discovered Tiki and I immediately part felt part of the Tiki community. Um, and uh, since uh, 2011, I professionally uh, work uh, for the Tiki, well, uh, as a Tiki consultant. So that's not the main topic, there's more here on the link if you're really interested in, my, in me. Um, so uh, what am I, uh, what does our viewpoint come from? The Tiki community I'm talking about uh, produces some open source software, which is over one million lines of code. We do major releases every eight months. Um, every free uh, release is a long-term support version, which is supported about five years. The project started uh, nearly 20 years ago by Louis Argerich, and he stayed uh, some years, and he left uh, the project afterwards. He's not among us anywhere, anymore. Um, so the... Um, so that community, it's, it's community managed open development software. It is not led uh, by any single company. We have uh, a number of us who are uh, con consultants managed for hire, but we all have our own customers. It's not, uh, there's no central point. It's not a company which manages anything so uh, there's no single company as I said there's no benevolent dictator there's not even the initial offer so um, communication is the only thing that keeps us together <laughs> so it's really crucial we without communication there's just no community and yeah and we are very open uh, the way we work, it's, we are really open. Anyone can contribute. That's what um, version, uh, version control systems are for. The wiki way of writing software. You want to add it. If it's really bad and causes problem, it can al always be rolled back. Um, so obviously, uh, I guess everybody knows the sentence, uh, eat your own dog food which means that you're never going to convince anyone to use your software if you're not using it yourself. And the second reason why you have to use it as much as possible is that, yeah, how, that's, that's how you improve it. That's how you see what people do with it when you are among the, those people. And then we improve it, we add things, we fix it. That's great. Um, just about Tiki, the special thing about Tiki, it's, it's all inbuilt. So at least among the community, we never have to argue about uh, which plugin we are going to use. There's no many plugins that all the features are there. They're active or they're not active. We can use whatever we like. Um, so we use the forums as such in order to communicate as uh, well as uh, forums are for. We also have wiki pages and documents, which means, which we use a lot uh, because uh, that's where we have our documentation for users. On one side, we have technical documentation on another one. We also have to discuss marketing stuff, which we as an open source company are not really great at, but we try to. Um, and uh, we share promotional information, you know, for, for making t-shirts or 
stuff like that. The, the, they're all shared and downloadable. All those websites have a, a, are federated. There's the single login, etc. It works well. People use that. Um, it's really, it's, well, as usual, the documentation for users is a bit late usually, but it gets done. Um, we have uh, some, what we call a tracker, which is really a database because it started as a bug tracker and then it expanded. Uh, that's where we share, uh, well, that's where people report bugs and also ask for new features. That really works fine because uh, we can discuss them, uh, we can fix them, we know how, what, what remains to be done, etc. Um, we also have articles feature. That's for that's mostly for communication. When we have a new release, someone gets an article and uh, we share it on social media and all that. Um, we have a blog feature which is rather underused. It's used by the um, by the assistance administrators uh, team, the people who manage our infrastructure. There is a uh, there is some kind of a wiki page structure and restricted documents and the restricted blog and the blog is there because it's less powerful than articles and all we want about this is to do a, a operation report so you need a title you need to say when it was done and you need to describe what was done so that the other scissors means know what has been done and they can look at how it was done so they can get an inspiration and all that no need for anything more complicated than that. That's why we use the blog for that. We have comments. Comments uh, can be linked to any of the above. So you might uh, wonder why we need comments when, for example, an anyone can edit the wiki pages. By anyone, I didn't mention it. Yeah, yeah. anyone can register, create an account and, you know, and, and contribute. There's no real problem. Uh, sometimes we get spammers this way and we just roll everything back. That's It's a wiki. Um, so the comments are for discussing a document. Well, some stuff like the wishes tracker are commented that's obvious. But the wiki pages is... Uh, the issue you have with wiki pages is that everybody can contribute on some topic, like a technical topic, etc. But people are polite. So they add their opinion, they never remove anything from anyone else. So it, they might prefer to comment rather than change the content because they're not so sure, etc. That's why, well, both are needed. Um, we also kind of, it's kind of a way of communication. Yeah, we, we've used Tiki to let people provide added, added information about about themselves or about why they are in the community or, or, or what they look like in a, in a photo when they register. And uh, another technical feature which is of course uh, really important is that when you have an account you can decide, that you can set watches on what you're interested in so that you get uh, email when something happens because you're not going back every day on the site. So. Yeah, so that's basically everything Tiki provides for us. I'm not saying it's not working. I mean, we use it, we like it, we improve it, uh, but there's more. Uh, we also have historic tools. We use that because uh, I told you it's nearly 20 years old project. Sourceforce was really fashionable at one time, I tell you, <laughs> before they got technical and ethical issues. So we still have uh, used that f for two things. First, the subversion repo, which is being migrated to GitLab, but it's still going to stay here because we have those long-term support versions, which we promise people that uh, they will get upgrades uh, for five years. So it will switch to being read-only, but still available so that c people can upgrade their, uh, their website and get the newest uh, security fixes and bug fixes. Uh, 
and uh, they provide mailing lists which uh, which we use actually so we have a developers mailing list which is very successful that's basically where we discuss what we want to do etc it's even the one when we say okay we, i want to start this and here is the um, here is the wiki page uh, about it but still that's how we get the information uh, so that works fine so uh, of course there's this issue that those mailing lists um, people complain that yeah but if you're not registered on the mailing list uh, you don't get the information etc but we have that feature that we can synchronize it with a forum I told you about the forum one of the forums has the same content you can it shows up in the forum when you mail and you can answer in the mailing list and we get it in the uh, answer in the forum we get it in the mailing list we have another one for users uh, total failure <laughs> because uh, people will just ask on the developers mailing list they get better answers for more knowledgeable people and yeah, yeah. we have a uh, mailing list which just gives uh, all the commits everything that changes in the code and we can review it we have that if that works a lot people actually use it and they answer there in order to comment on discuss uh, that shouldn't be this way or yeah it, that's useful uh, historic non-social tools, yeah, we, we are on IRC and uh, some of us like that. Uh, it worked well, we have zero maintenance about that. Uh, only issue is three years ago, I think they had a massive uh, DOS, uh, yeah, they were, had trouble, so we use it much less. It works better again, but you know. And that's how we have frequent debates about uh, why, what's best. Uh, nothing is best. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, the people who go on the forums are not the same people who answer questions on IRC. It's just it just spreads the knowledge. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, XMPP also is a great. Uh, so another thing that's really important is uh, the Tiki Fests. Uh, Tiki Fest is when people who don't usually meet, meet. Like, uh, you know, there's FOSDEM. Uh, some of us are here, where some of the ha us came some days before, and we meet. Um, it's not a technical issue. It's just really important to do that because once you know the people, you can go back to sending them emails and uh, uh, just it's just easier because you know what the person will understand how you communicate it's just simpler and also you can ask questions like uh, why are they in on, in the project you know are they really are they full time are they just curious are they it's yeah another non technical thing to keep in mind uh, yeah tiki fest are kind of expensive so we also do online meetings and <laughs> Uh, um, and it's been mentioned one of the great thing about open source software is don't he hesitate to reach to other projects for collaborations they're open we had a collaboration with big blue button so that got us integration you are logged in on the tiki site uh, for the meetings and then you click and you get in the big blue button room and you have your own name and if you didn't register, it shows guest. We get our, um, we do that for monthly roundtable meetings, which started as webinars, but it's not really presentations. It, one hour, uh, very short topics, you know, uh, like, uh, hey, uh, next month there's FOSDEM, who's coming? And uh, one hour of presentations, anyone has some new things to present to how it's done and uh, new features are usually easier to present on a, on a, we on a, on a web webinar because then it's usually someone else who will have to write the user documentation. We are mostly volunteers on that, you know. Uh, Tiki admin group meetings. Oh, I didn't mention that. Uh, we, have, um, we have an association which, as I said, as you may have figured out, the community created the association. The association did not create the community. It's for holding the copyright uh, to the name and uh, dealing with server and stuff. So they meet every three months. 
Um, we've also re we really like Jitsi Meet also. We've been in contact with them, but there was no real reason for doing any collaboration because it just works. And uh, for a time, Big Blue Button had took a long time um, uh, before they switched from uh, Flash to HTML5. So now we are, and we were not really happy, and we were really happy to have an uh, an alternative. So yeah, now Big Blue Button runs fine, and yeah, and it. it still is recorded on our servers, which is cool, because uh, Jitsimit doesn't have that. We could record that, but I think it goes to Google. We obviously don't like that. Uh, we, we, I mean, I'm happy for them that they have that option. It's clearly the thing to do, but we don't want to use it. Um, other ways of collaborating is that Tiki is part of Wikiswitch, which is a project about uh, providing um, all the needs of a small company only with open source stuff. So we get in touch with people or other projects and uh, we get contact uh, with some of those other projects. That's how we have that XMPP thing which competes with uh, IRC because it's, it is more modern, you know. <laughs> and um, we have people we get in, in touch with, uh, Gus, uh, oui. especially about having that uh, open fire server, Converse.js, which gives, you, gives us um, a web-based web <laughs> interface to the XMPP, which you can get on wikisuite.com chats uh, and uh, Pade is uh, an app which is also uh, browser based but it has its own window um, that's that gets us because I, I think uh, XMPP as a protocol has a lot of uh, things for it it's federated it has everything uh, but the focus I think personally is the clients right now for for more uh, use of it um sync thing is also part of it so we, we use it to uh, spread uh, backups and, and all that and yes so uh the message again is yes uh, we discovered that even though we provide collaboration tools uh a good thing is to have a, a lot of them, and also some we have for historical reason, and we want to change, etc. It's not the same ones that, as ten years ago. It, it changes, so we want to change. Also, we also have plans. Uh, I told you we are not going to stay on subversion, not even on sourceforce, uh, but that takes time for change management reasons. We want to really improve uh, our mail the, w the mail integration capability. We have SIFT integration, GMAP uh, in, in Tiki, and in Tiki 21, which is the one we just branched yesterday, uh, we have CardDev and CardDev, and as usual, uh, now that we have them, they, we, we will improve our way of using them. As a summary, um, how does it work, generally speaking, for us? When we want to know where we want to go and make plans, the things that work great, because at some point you have to make a decision, are the Tiki Fests, when there's enough of us and the other, others are online, at the end of the decision you can say, okay, we all kind of agree that that's what we do. We have the development mailing list because everybody is on it, basically, so uh, you know what's going on. It's a nice place for, and it, and it is recorded. We have, we have all, all of that. Um, wiki pages are also great when we don't want, when we don't know what, where we want to go and we want more feedback. The wish tracker is also one of those ways that new stuff pop up because people ask for them and we do them. Or not, um, and there are those uh, monthly roundtable meeting. Um, the tag is a uh, Tiki admin group, which also gets things for plans. And when we want to discuss how we do things, uh, well, there's a lot of discussion about commits which were done, and people just uh, start a thread about that. Or again, the Dev Tiki org uh, wiki pages. Just uh, okay, how do we do that?
which is basically so. Did I leave time for questions? Yeah. Or? So are there any questions about or unclear? Actually, I would have one. Um, so uh, if I understand correctly, so in the Tiki community, you have kind of a limited amount of developers of the development workforce. So mm -hmm. how do you manage to basically provide new features to the project while still supporting some of the features that you support as part of the um, kind of back backward compatibility strategy or uh, long-term support strategy? So uh, one of the reasons uh, we are really happy with the way uh, Tiki community works is that a lot of us uh, do that as paid uh, consultants. And that means we have our customers. Uh, oh, the question was, um, uh, we have limited uh, development force. How do we spread the, word, the, the, the work and decide on support old stuff and uh, add new stuff? Um, Part of uh, our job is uh, it's very powerful software. It gets really complicated. People like to have a consultant do it for them because they have another work they're good at, which they want to focus on. And um, so, but they have complex needs. So basically, it's you, it's often it da Tiki does ninety percent of what they want. And one of us, they, they pay one of us to add the 10%. And we recontribute that 10% to the community. So that's how we get the new things. As for maintaining, maintaining the old things, well, whoever uses the old things will complain that they are broken on upgrade. They also, uh, yeah, they also want upgrades because, okay, we, we stay, five years is not that long. <laughs> They come back, they want the new version. They said, I don't, uh, thanks for the new stuff, but I like the old one. And uh, you just broke it, it seems, or it could be better. And so there's no yeah, central point where people decide, you will do this, you will do this. It's, if nobody uses something, then nobody will touch it. It's, and after a while, we say, OK, well, this is deprecated.